Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adia Jane Watts, and if you're new, please subscribe right down below. Today, I will be reviewing Shoes by Only Maker. So Only Maker Shoes is a shoe company that specializes in shoes from size five to size 15. And if you know anything about me, the first thing you need to know is that I am a shoe size 13, women's 13. Finding shoes has been the most difficult thing in my entire life. Like finding sh like a good pair of shoes is like finding a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. That's how difficult it is for me to find a pair of shoes, especially a pair of heels. Ever since Payless closed, it got 10 times more difficult. It literally got 20 times more difficult after Payless closed. I didn't know like how to cope. I had heard of the company Only Maker. I had gotten a pair of shoes from them before through Amazon, but never directly from the company. So this past February, when I was competing at Queen Beauty USA, the director said, you need a pair of black, silver, and nude Chinese laundry tippy tops. Not only are Chinese laundry tippy tops $75 per pair, also the largest size that they go up to is a size 11 and a half, and they notoriously run small. And I'm not about to squeeze my big gigantic size, size 13 foot into an 11 half shoe. Can't afford to, like literally cannot afford to, don't want to. So I had messaged my director and he said, no, uh, you really do need tippy tops. Then I messaged another one of my directors and he said, well, I guess you're a special case, so you don't need it. So I ended up looking online on, at Amazon again and I remembered Onlymaker because like I said, the last pair of Onlymaker heels I had purchased was in 2017. And I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a totally honest review and I don't have those shoes with me. The shoes that I got, now these shoes were not direct from the company, but they still had the Only Maker brand on it. The heel, as I would walk, this is the heel, as I would walk, this, this part's the heel, right? As I would walk, it would literally like bend it like this. So every step I took, heel, toe, heel, toe, the heel would come in and I would just wobble like, crazy. It was the scariest feeling and those were actually private competition meals. But I purchased those same shoes, the same exact brand of shoes from direct from Only Maker on Amazon Prime. And those ones were fine, but the other ones that were from Amazon but not Amazon Prime had that heel issue. So I was not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical to order from Only Maker again, but they're so much better now, especially with these two new shoes that I have to show you guys. One of the shoes is technically sponsored, so I guess this is an ad, but I just wanted to let you guys know that the first pair that I'm about to show you right now was not sponsored, but this is the pair of shoes that led to the sponsorship. All right, so I'm sorry if like the camera angles keep changing and everything's a little bit weird. My setup is always iffy when it comes to these videos, but I still wanna get them out no matter what. So this is the first heel that I got from Only Maker um, this February. This is the heel that I got from Only Maker. This is the heel that kind of started this entire thing. As you can see, like I got a little bit of a stain on there but they are black strappy sandals with like a clear little uh, thing so that you have way more foot toes coverage. And I wore these as competition heels and they, they were absolutely amazing. Like they were the most sturdy design I've ever had in a heel. Uh, walking on it in carpet was amazing because the soles on the bottom um, I really shouldn't be touching it. They touched New York City streets, but um, <laughs> the sole on the bottom was amazing. That's why they looked a little like lightly used. Absolutely amazing, super sturdy, super wearable too. I could wear this with a pair of jeans. I could wear this with an evening gown like I did. I wore this with two different evening gowns, I think. Like this is just, I love this design. I am so happy that I spent the money on this because literally it doesn't even have that heel issue. As you guys can see, I'm like applying as much pressure as possible right now. But if I apply too much, I'm probably gonna snap it. I'm applying as much pressure as, you know, physically possible. 
um, and it's really amazing. Like I, I actually really love these pair of shoes. Want to get it in every color. I, I really love them. Like I said, this is actually a size 14 team. And I wanted to get a size 14 even though I'm a size 13 because Only Maker is technically kind of an Asian company, I believe. So I just wanted to make sure that with anything, always make sure you get a size up. Because if you get smaller size, you can take something in, but you can't take something out. I, I have a cobbler that I work with in the Asbury Park, Belmar area. He could have fixed it if it was too big, but if it was too small, there's literally no fixing it. All right, now here is the pair of shoes in this lovely little box that I'm really excited about. After they saw me compete at Queen Beauty USA, the only maker company, they reached out to me and they were just like, Adia, you look amazing. We want to reach out to you and see if you'd love to sponsor some shoes for us for the month of March. Unfortunately, everything that's going on with COVID-19, the shoes came a little bit late. And then as you can see with my eye, I got a really, really bad sty. It's been like really bad. And doing all the makeup tutorials hasn't really helped, but you know, I still want to do, I want to produce content. Like, and now that quarantine gives us the time to, I'd rather produce the content and risk the sty than not. You know what I mean? I had to wait a little bit before I could review these shoes. But when these shoes came in, look at this. Like, look at this. It's literally like Cinderella's dream shoe. And with the holographic back, I don't know if you can see that at all. This shoe is literally to die for. Little pointed toe action. I got this in 45, which is a size 14. This shoe is literally amazing. It's super, you think it wouldn't be stretchy, but no, it's, it has stretch. Like this hook, this is the hook that it was set to when they were sent to me. And I didn't even like touch it. I literally just slipped my foot right on in hold on this and then my my foot like fit. My only, it's not even really an issue, but like my only thing is that you, you, you can see like your feet perspire, but that's not an only maker problem. That's literally like any clear PCT shoe you get, that's going to happen. But I wore these shoes for about an hour to test them out. And not only, that's the thing with only maker shoes. With Only Maker shoes, they are literally the most comfortable shoes you will ever have. I could literally stand in these shoes for hours. I, I like, honestly, and I'm not even just saying that because the company is sponsoring me. I literally stood in these shoes for New York Fashion Week for about four hours straight. Literally no issues, no complaints, didn't want to take them off. Whereas my tippy tops that I have, they're actually from a shoe company called Pleaser, which is technically known for stripper shoes, but before Only Maker, Pleaser was the only company where you could get shoes, heels in my size. And lucky enough for me, they decided to recreate tippy tops. I don't know if they saw the need in the pageant industry or if like the saying that tippy tops are hooker heels is true. Whatever the case, before I found Pleaser and Only Maker, and even sometimes Pleaser hurts, actually, Besides my tippy tops, so yeah, these are hurts. Wearing heels was, I would have to squeeze my foot into literally a size 13, or I mean, I'm sorry, a size 12, 12.5. As you can see here, the shoes were ugly designs. Meanwhile, I literally want to spend at least $50 of my paycheck, every paycheck on a pair of only maker shoes. Their designs, as you can see here, are so freaking adorable and I, and I don't think I can express through words how great it feels as a six foot two size 13 shoe to have heels that you actually want to wear. Cause even when Payless was open, people with size 13 shoes or men who dressed up as drag queens because I live in Asbury Park would be in lines at Payless and steal all the shoes. And by the time, you know, 12 year old me with like no money, no car got there, all the good shoes were gone. So I had to pay for the ugly heels. To have a company like Only Maker make fashionable shoes 
for people who are size 12 to 15. Like, I don't think, I I can't, like I'm literally, I'm, I'm not even faking this, I'm actually literally about to cry thinking about it because I've never sat down and thought about it. And, and that's been part of my pageant problem. When you really think about it, the five years, four or five years I've spent competing, half of those years, I didn't have comfortable shoes. I didn't get comfortable shoes, like I said, until my pleaser fake tippy tops in 2018. I know that, like I said, tippy tops are uncomfortable for a majority of pageant girls, but you guys still have your interview shoes that are comfy, hopefully. You still have all of your other shoes that are comfortable. You only have to deal with maybe 20 minutes of pain at rehearsals if you wear the same shoes and during like while you're on stage. Imagine going through your pageant week or your pageant weekend constantly in pain. And again, 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 I understand. I understand. I totally get it. Like what I just said is probably gonna start a riot in the pageant community or thought process of like, oh, you think you have it bad. But like I said, imagine having a size 13 shoe and squeezing into an 11 because it matches your outfit. If you were a size nine shoe and the last shoe that you wanted that was that like matched your outfit was a seven, that's your choice to be able to make that decision to squeeze your foot into that size seven. I, like me, I never had a choice. I didn't have pageant shoes, like really good pageant shoes, and they all were uncomfortable. And, they, and, and as we all know, shoes really changed the walk. If you look at my walk from Queen Beauty USA in these heels, as opposed to my walk from Mr. Jersey Teen USA in, in a shoe like this, this wasn't the shoe I wore for Miss T New Jersey Teen USA, but this was the shoe I wore for my graduation. And this is a Payless shoe, and I literally only wore it once at graduation. Size 13, but they mismarked it, and it's actually a size 12. And it was the most uncomfortable thing with this little three inch kitten heel. I don't know about you guys, but I actually find it harder to walk in shorter heels. So that was the, always the other issue too. If the heel, if it wasn't that the heel didn't fit properly, it's that the heel itself was too short. I feel like my stride is a lot better with something like this size heel. I think this is about five inches, but like something like size, which going back to my pageant journey video part one, I totally don't need. I totally do not need a five inch shoe. I'm already six foot two without it, but it definitely helps. It, and that's why all my coaches that I've ever really worked with, they're all just like, Dia, you don't need it. They're, they all actually kind of force me to wear heel a heel this size. But I have to literally put bag and cleat them. Like, I cannot walk in that. I cannot walk in that. But this, I believe this is four inches. I can walk in this. I have no idea what Magic Only Maker is using. I literally don't know, but shoes like these with designs like this, I think this company honestly has, it has the Adia Jane Watts seal of approval, but also like they have my business for at least a good couple of years. Cause I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is a heel review video, but I don't wear heels. I don't wear makeup. As you can see by my jacket, I'm literally, this is my everyday jacket. Like. I'm just like a, a very chill kind of girl. I don't wear heels every day, but when I get in the mood, I think I'm gonna reach for a pair of only maker heels. And I don't want you guys to feel like you've been pandered to, cause that's not, that's not my goal. But I wanna like make this video for people who have shoes problems like me, who are like size 13 and literally cannot find anything. Only maker is that one company that makes a really good sensible product a really good sensible shoe. They may have their mishaps sometimes, but every company does. And that was literally back in 2017. I'm sure that was the fault of Amazon and not their fault. I personally will continue to shop at onlymaker.com. I am really excited to be partnering with them. I actually have a discount code for you guys. If you use EDA20 or EDA10, I believe you get 
10 or 20% off when you purchase your next order with Only Maker Shoes at OnlyMakerShoes.com. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. I, I really appreciate Only Maker, not from a sponsorship point of view, but just from a customer point of view. Just the fact that, like I said, I have a shoe store that I can finally go to, not feel like I'm buying shoes to get on a pole is absolutely insane. So Only Maker, you make great product. Keep doing what you're doing. You have one consistent buyer in me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, click like right down below. If you want to leave a comment, you can. I also have a Patreon page. You guys can donate to it if you'd like. Help pre prepare me for my next pageant. It's right down here. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's sayonara for now.